Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you a bunch of different ways to make money from music. I'm going to start with music related jobs first. These are going to be the highest paying 20 to 30 an hour. I'm also going to show you some side hustles you can do for extra cash as well. And some of the things that maybe aren't working anymore that maybe you've heard of. So first off with different music related jobs that you could get, one thing you could do is be a content specialist for We Localize. We Localize is a company that usually deals a lot with translation, localization, and all sorts of stuff like that. They have these things called classical content specialist or other types of content or music specialist where it'll usually be a certain type of music that you would listen to. And what you would do is, this is a uh, music content curation and quality control project. You will review content based on a set of digital music industry guidelines. And for this one, classical music standards, this position will require managing, aggregating, correcting, and connecting metadata to ensure the best user experience. You will work with project managers on a large scale. So this one is something for people who are passionate about classical music, familiar with major classical music artists, composers, and ensembles, knowledge of all genres of classical music, for instance, native level linguistic com competency in English is a must, working knowledge of French, German, Italian, or Latin, I mean, these will also vary as well as far as languages. Highly detail-oriented and feel comfortable multitasking and working in a dynamic environment. Ability to prioritize a high workload, things like that. Preferred real-world experience in the classical field, industry, media, journalism, or retail. Technical and project management experience. Proficient in use of productivity software. Uh, requirements, experience, and education. This one, master's degree or equivalent experience in music performance or musicology is preferred, not necessarily required. They have another one kind of like this, which is called TWI Music Specialist. Speaking native level TWI candidates to perform music lyrics transcription, quality assurance review of the content. So you're going to listen to music and you're going to transcribe the lyrics and also do some quality assurance and review songs and things like that. So they have these all over the world. I'm just showing a couple of examples. Obviously, some of these are like U United States, UK, India, Ghana, wherever. There's a lot of different countries around the world where you can do this. You would be responsible for analyzing music lyric content, 65% transcribing, 25% proofreading and editing, and 10% analyzing metadata. So that's what you would be doing for this as well. So you're analyzing lyrics, in other words, and you're typing them out. So salary-wise, what you would want to look for is a content specialist. So if you type in uh, content specialist in the find salary section, you would find that they average around 60,000 a year if you were to work full-time hours, which is around you know $29 an hour or something like that. Um, another one kind of similar to this is at Genius, which is at Genius.com. Genius, if you are a music lover, you've probably heard of this website. They're a global database for lyrics and art, artist-focused content, as you can see right there. They don't currently have this job available in their job openings right now, but what it is is a lyric specialist or a lyric associate. And you will see uh, some different websites have notes on this job from when it was posted before. Um, it's usually part-time, U.S.-based. And what you do is, it's very simple. What you do is you listen to new songs and you transcribe the lyrics, meaning you just type them out and you have them um, posted on the genius.com website. So you complete an accurate transcription and sync of new releases, review and edit community transcriptions, match new release transcriptions to Apple Music Database. And all they require is uh, comfort with spreadsheets. You can make tight deadlines. Um, you're an active participant in a genius knowledge project and transcriber community, strongly preferred, not required. Um, fluency in other languages would be a plus, and obviously transcription experience and 18 years of age or older. Now, they don't have enough information on their specific page on Glassdoor to tell you exactly how much this pays, but a typical just average transcriptionist would make around 42000 a year. So you're usually looking at a general ballpark of $20 an hour if you make some based on that. And another one you can do, a little bit different, if you want to get into music and you want to deal with, say, copyright instead of just typing lyrics or editing lyrics and things like that, uh, or quality assurance, um, you could be something like a, qual like a copyright clerk. Now, you'll see these from time to time. This one was posted uh, 13 days ago for a company called Rose International. And they're looking for people located in the United States. You, you get to work remotely. And 
you would identify all exploitations of given audio or audio video asset, a visual asset for each assigned artist, product schedule via release schedules or sales files. So for these types of jobs, you are looking for um, exploitations of copyright of different artists, different products and things like that related to certain songs or things like that. So you're, you're literally, you're dealing with copyright and people who are uh, basically doing things that they're not supposed to with this stuff. Also skill wise, uh, you have skills and abilities, working knowledge of PC and mainframe, computer systems, Windows environment, Microsoft Excel preferred, bias to action, perseverant and accountable, detail oriented with ability to prioritize work, meet deadlines, work well under pressure, um, education for your college degree, emphasis on music administration is preferred, equivalent industry or publishing experience. So I don't think you have to have a four-year college degree, but that would be preferred. So if you want to deal with like copyright and you want to look up songs, listen to songs, look for um, people who are maybe posting a song on YouTube or something without the actual right to do so, that's kind of what you might do with a copyright clerk position. Typically, these can pay around 50000 a year, which is about $24 per hour. You also have something that you can find at like, uh, there's one called Create Music Group. This is just an example. Again, you can just look up the title of these jobs and see who's posting these when they're available, when you're ready to look for these. But there was one posted on ZipRecruiter called a Viral Content Claiming Specialist. This is very similar to the last job, uh, the copyright clerk. You're going to be dealing with people who, um, you're gonna perform administrative tasks such as YouTube copyright claiming, asset onboarding, and things for um, all sorts of different music and other types of viral content. Starting wage for this is around $16 an hour and all full-time employees are eligible to receive health insurance as well. One to three years work experience, excellent communication skills, able to do basic research, stronger understanding of the online video market. So these would be um, more you know video related and things like that. But this is uh, for Create Music Group. So this could also include all, all sorts of other types of content, maybe not just music, but um, usually they specialize more in music with this company. But it's just another type of thing you can do. So you can do like, if you want an actual job, usually you can do a job related to lyrics where you are say typing or transcribing. You may even be able to find like a blog related job where you are you know, you work for a publication, a site like Genius, where uh, maybe you are covering the latest songs or giving your opinion on that as like a writer, maybe working part time. Um, or you can do something like someone who deals with copyright and kind of protects the rights of different songs. And you're going around YouTube listening to certain videos and basically uh, figuring out if it needs to be a copyright claim or not based on the rights of the song. A claiming analyst makes around 71000 a year, but I think it'll probably be closer to the copyright clerk position, which is about $24 uh, an hour. So I don't know if you would really make up to 71000 It's not really an exact match for this uh, job title, but I would say it's probably pretty close to what a copyright clerk would make. So next I'm gonna show you some lower paying side hustles. Let's say you wanna make money listening to music but you don't wanna to commit to some sort of job, e even if it's part time. Um, so I'm gonna show you a few different websites and apps that you can use as well. So what you can do is use current.us. You can earn rewards while commuting or uh, doing chores, whatever, listening to music. So current, you stream and you stream your favorite music on your lock screen and you will earn points just from listening to your favorite music. You can get paid via PayPal, Uber, Starbucks, Amazon, and other gift cards. You also have surveys and you can share your opinion. You have tasks that you can do. You can usually earn up to like $600 a year, as you can see up here, for uh, just making extra money on the side, listening to your favorite music and things like that. And uh, of course, they also have an app that you can use. It's actually very highly rated, so that's always obviously a good sign. Um, lots of reviews, 2.74 million reviews, 4.2 out of five stars. So very highly rated. It's just something to make a little bit of extra money on the side if you want to do that. Another thing you can do is playlist push. Playlist push is something, especially if you're a Spotify user, you can make about $12 for every song that you put on your 
playlist. And this is a way for you to help other artists get discovered. So you're going to listen to a lot of new music from upcoming artists. Maybe they're artists that post their stuff on like SoundCloud or try to upload their own stuff to Spotify, but they're not getting enough traction yet. Maybe they're very new, maybe they're very young, and they're trying to get their music some more traction. So some of these playlists, if you're not familiar, uh, like with Spotify Premium, you can share these playlists and people can like and subscribe to your playlist and use your playlist on Spotify. So you can actually make some of your playlist go viral or get viewed by a bunch of people who maybe just want to try out some new music and playlists for all sorts of situations. So you could even get good with SEO, which is basically search engine optimization for Spotify, where basically you're using keywords and you are ranking these playlists in search results so where people are looking for certain types of specific playlists. And if you can get good at that, if you're good at curating music for people, then people who are trying to get their songs discovered will pay you $12 per song to put these songs in your playlist that you created. So you need to be uh, someone who has real followers on Spotify, YouTube Music, or Apple Music. You get paid via PayPal and you get paid every Friday, no minimum to cash out either. So you can go to playlistpush.com to do that. Another thing you can do is review music. You can review music at slicethepie.com. So you can listen to new music and review it. I believe you have to listen to a minimum of one minute of the song to review it. You need to be at least 13 years of age or older and you can get paid around 20 cents per review via PayPal. This is at slicethepie.com. Also, you have something called Hit Predictor. Hit Predictor is a website where you listen to music, you review songs, and you earn points for every review. You cash out via Amazon gift cards or others. You listen to songs before release to the public in some cases, and you can kind of discover a lot of songs this way. It's part of the media company iHeartMedia. So this is a, a website where you might be able to just sign up. You create your account now, and then you can actually... Um, get paid to uh, in in points. You're not going to earn a lot of money, obviously. Um, you're just going to get maybe a few extra gift cards a year by doing this. Next, you have a company called Radio Earn. This is at RadioEarn.com. You can get paid um, by listening to the radio, basically. And with this one, you listen to music, earn points for every 15 minutes you listen to, and those points will be converted into cash at the end of the following month. You get payout via bank transfer, Amazon gift card, or Bitcoin commercials from time to time as well. That's how they afford their payouts because you watch ads and they pay you a percentage of ad revenue. They also have over 1,300 uh, stations worldwide. So this is at uh, radioearn.com and this is just another way you can get paid to listen to music and radio. You also have something called cash4minutes.com. cash for minutes is... It's a little different, but what you do is you make phone calls, you call into radio stations and you listen. That's how you do it. So instead of playing it through an app or something, you do it based on calling. They have 180, almost 186,000 users and they've paid out about 11 million pay, uh, pounds since 2014. So cash4minutes.com, make sure you use the number four when you go to the website. And you can do this. You call into radio stations, you listen. You need 20 units to cash out and you get paid via Amazon voucher, Bitcoin, charity donation, or bank transfer. Another thing you can do is become a SiriusXM.com affiliate. You can go to SiriusXM.com slash affiliates. And if you are someone who's good at building a brand online or if you're good at building a website with that gets followers or a social media account that gets followers, you're an affiliate marketer, you have your own business online, this is a way you can make money as well. You can build a blog, you can build a YouTube channel or something, maybe reviewing music or something, and you can become an affiliate. And when you get new people to sign up and to pay for an account at SiriusXM, then you can get paid a certain percentage of that for each new user that you get signed up. And last but not least, for the side hustles that you can do, you can also check out some data collection apps where basically it runs in the background. You download apps like Nielsen. So if you aren't uh, familiar, Nielsen is the company that does like TV ratings and stuff like that. They do all sorts of 
uh, US-based ratings for how popular TV shows are and stuff like that. And they also have like a data collection app that you can have running in the background. So if you download this app on your Apple or Android device, you, you just register and you make sure it's active and then you have a points balance. So you rack up these points and then you can earn rewards by cashing out with these. So you might get some extra gift cards. You might make, you know, maybe, you know, 50 bucks a year, 100 bucks a year, something like that. It's not going to be a lot, but hey, you might get a few extra free meals a year um, just from having this app. And you don't have to do anything with the app. It just runs in the background. It just collects data. It's not going to obviously misuse your data or use it for negative purposes or malicious intent. It's a very well-known company. You just look, just Google Nielsen company. And this app does have 9,000 plus reviews and a 3.5 out of five star rating with 1 million plus downloads. Now I'm going to show you some things that maybe you've heard of that are no longer working. So obviously a lot of people will ask questions or they'll see a, they'll see a blog or they'll see a YouTube channel where they don't update their content very well. And they might see some things like, oh, okay, well there, you know, you 25 ways to make money listening to music or something like that. And half of them might not even work anymore. Half of them might not even be relevant anymore. And I'm gonna show you some of these uh, right now. So some of the ones that aren't working anymore, some got suspended. So you have like Music X-Ray, which usually you would review music like Hit Predictor and Slice the Pie. This used to be around. It's probably something you've seen on different blogs and stuff. It's no longer, it's suspended. They're not taking new users anymore. So for instance, this is their website now. They're not getting paid for this. You're not getting paid to listen to music here anymore. You have Research FM, they're not around anymore. Anything that uses radio loyalty. So a lot of these websites used to use something called radio loyalty, which was going to pay you like three cents for every 10 minutes of music you listen to in a radio style format. Well, radio loyalty is pretty much no longer around anymore. So a lot of these companies can't pay you to listen to music now. So some of these companies are still around. Like for instance, you have inbox dollars, which I still make money from inbox dollars, but it's not from music listening to music you can't really do that anymore because they were one of the ones that used to use radio loyalty they had kind of a partnership with that so inbox dollars is still around they pay you for a lot of things but it's no longer there for um, things like that now you also have like fusion cash where you can get paid to click watch videos play games just a lot, a lot of these companies basically what they do is they pay you a percentage of ad revenue they earn a certain amount of money from ads and then they pay you a percentage of it and that's how they get new users. Fusion Cash is another one where uh, I think they use radio loyalty and it's no longer around. And Earnably was another one as well. Earnably is at earnably.com, but they don't seem to do that because of radio loyalty, so I wouldn't mess with that anymore. Bad Reviews, Unique Rewards is another one where you know, you're know you supposed to be able to earn money from uh, listening to music and stuff like that, or at least you could in the past, but their reviews are bad, so I wouldn't really recommend using them anymore. So hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more daily videos like this one. And I'll have links in, the, in a uh, blog post in the YouTube video description and I'll see you in the next video.